Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to sit down today and kind of talk to you guys uh, about cloth diapering and Haley and all that sort of stuff. So let's jump right into it. So I've had a few people actually reach out and ask me like, am I cloth diapering Haley or am I just doing disposables? And if I'm not cloth diapering her, how come I'm not and all that sort of stuff. And so I just really wanted to sit down and make a video about it and let you guys know kind of what that looks like for us. So um, if you don't know, I cloth diaper Jacob throughout his entire journey with um, diapers. I did use disposables if we went on a trip or if we um, like went somewhere for the weekend or even sometimes on the go like if we were going into the city for the day just because it was easier but I didn't do it a whole lot. I, I primarily cloth diapered him um, and I loved it. It worked really really great. It was super easy for me. I didn't find that it was tough or challenging or disgusting at all and I was really excited to cloth diaper with Haley. So I picked up a few more diapers with Haley um, and knew that the first little bit I probably wasn't going to be able to cloth diaper her. We waited until Jacob's umbilical cord stump fell off and then it was maybe around a month and a half that we really solidly started cloth diapering him. Um, he had bulked up, he had gained a little bit of weight, they fit him really well and we stayed with it. So um, for those of you who don't know, I use Best Bottoms diapers. Um, when I was looking for diapers, I didn't want to buy like one of this, one of this, one of this, one of this. I really wanted to find a brand that I thought that was going to work really well for me and invest all my money into that brand um, for two reasons. One, I kind of thought that that makes more sense because then it's very easy to use and it's not complicating for me or my husband who would be kind of the secondary diaper changer. He didn't have to learn a hundred different diapers. Um, and two, I sort of thought it's easier to go ahead and do something like that because then I'm not, um, wasting money on ones that maybe I don't like. Like I didn't want to go out and buy, buy like two here and two here and two here and then figure out I hate those ones or I hate those ones. Or I really ended up like best liking best bottoms and then having to go and kind of stockpile on top of that. So um the answer to the question though is no we are not cloth I bring Haley. Oh, and I hate it. <laughs> I wish we were. Um there's again a few reasons why we are not. Um so I was very gung-ho to cloth diaper her. Like I said, I picked up a couple extra diapers. We were ready. We tried kind of in the beginning, didn't really work out. Um, waited a bit, tried again, didn't really work out. Um, and we keep trying every couple of weeks to a month. We try them on her again for a day and see how it goes. Um, she is just not the build for these diapers. That's the only thing I can say. She just is not the build for them. Um, that's that's really the answer. I have tried to get them on her to fit them on her pr properly, but every single time she either poops or pees, it comes out of the diaper, all over her clothes. So when I cloth diaper her, I'm changing her clothes as many times as I'm changing her diaper. And it's really frustrating. Um, so when we first started, the reason we had stopped um, is because in order for, okay, the way that her body is designed is her legs are really, really teeny um, and her waist is quite teeny, but she's got a little booty on her. One second. Come here, honey. Sorry about that. So yeah, so her legs are teeny, her waist is teeny, but she's got a little booty on her. And so um, because of that, in order to get it tight enough so that the leg holes are tight enough and the waist is tight enough, um, it, it, it really makes it tight on the waist. And because I have de dealt with gas issues with her, if you haven't already heard that you can go watch previous videos but I've been dealing with gas issues with her and so to have it really tight on her waist was causing her to not be able to relieve herself of the gas and it was really uncomfortable for her and so we decided to kind of back off for a bit like I said that was kind of one of the first times we tried and then going in to try again I didn't want to put them tight on her but I can't get them tight enough that it, it works for her if that makes sense um if I have them tight enough she's uncomfortable and if I don't have them tight enough there's gaps and she leaks and pees and poops out of the diaper. So like I said we are trying every few months to go ahead and put them back on her. I'm hoping that um, she'll bulk back up, that her legs will start to get that chubby and her waist will start to get a little chubby and then they'll start to really fit her really well. Um, we're just not there yet and so I'm kind of discouraged with it because I would love to cloth diaper her. I wanted to cloth diaper her and I still want to. I've had a few people say to me like well why don't you try this brand or why don't you try this brand and 
that's something I've kind of thought about and I feel like there would be a brand out there that would work for her. I just don't want to invest the money into it, if that makes sense. I feel like we've got a really great stockpile. I know what we have for the cloth diapers will be good enough for her once I can get her in them. It's just a matter of the fact that I can't get her in them yet. And so, um... I just, I don't want to invest any more money into it. And I know that in a sense I am because I'm buying disposable diapers, but in my mind that's temporary because she's going to fit the cloth diapers soon or someday or hopefully. And so I just keep thinking of the disposables as a really temporary thing because it's not something I really want to stick with, if that makes sense. So, um... You know what? She might never be a cloth diaper baby. We kind of joke that she's like, oh, she's got to be expensive, right? Because we have all of this stuff that would be totally free for us to go ahead and diaper her because we bought it all with my first son. And of course, I can't use them on her. Um, it's funny because a lot of the time before I had Haley um, and when I had cloth diaper Jacob, people were saying to me that like, oh, I couldn't cloth diaper my kid or it didn't work for me or whatever. And I kept thinking like, it didn't work for you. It works. It cloth diapering works. Um, and I remember thinking that a lot of the time when it worked with Jacob, that it was just like, no, you just didn't want to do it. Or no, it just didn't fit into your schedule. Or you didn't like to clean up the poop or you didn't. And now I understand where people are coming for, from for that. It's like, they, they do not work for Haley. Um, I wish that they did. And like I said, I'm sure there's a brand out there that does. And I love Best Bottoms. I have nothing bad to say about them. They are a fantastic diaper. Um, it's just the build and shape of Haley that makes it tough for me to go ahead and wear them on her. So I'm hoping that we can go ahead and get her back into them. But again, it'll just be a process. And I'll let you guys know kind of how that goes as we're going along. Um, I'm going to do an update on Haley hopefully soon here. So you guys can go ahead and kind of see all of her stats and all of that sort of stuff. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. Comment down below and let me know what kind of diapers that you use for your littles and especially if your littles are kind of little legs, little waist and what works for them. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!